Hello friends. In our previous session, we have learnt what are the various terminologies related to a circle. So, if you recall, what is a tangent? Can you remember the road attached to the park? Tangent to a circle is a line which touches the circle only and only at one point. In this video, we will learn more about tangents. So, let me tell you from where tangent get its name. It was derived from a Latin word tangere which means to touch and was introduced by the Danish mathematician Thomas Finicky in 1583. The point at which the tangent touches the circle is known as point of contact. So what do you think? How many tangents can a circle have? 1, 2, 10. A circle is made up of group of points and as we have studied that a tangent passes only through one point. So a circle can have n number of tangents because it has n number of points. From this we can say that a circle can have infinite number of tangents. With that being said, let's go back to the park example which we have used in our previous session. I was standing near the fountain in a park and I wanted to buy an ice cream. My mom said, go to the closest vendor and get an ice cream. There were few ice cream vendors on the road. All of the vendors were outside the park. But one was exactly on the road and touching the boundary of the park. If I want to go to any of the vendor, I will have to cross the first vendor. Just because the first vendor was visibly closer, so I decided to go to that vendor and took the ice cream. Let's suppose if there were other gates, will then also the first vendor be closer? Now let's study this concept geometrically and prove that the first vendor is closest and the distance is perpendicular to the road. Now if you draw radii from the center of the circle to the point of contact of the tangent, the radii will be perpendicular to the tangent, that is, radius and the tangent make an angle of 90 degrees always and that's what our first theorem says. The tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. Let us prove this. Let us consider a circle with radius OP. We have a tangent XY with a point of contact as point P. We have to prove that OP is perpendicular to XY. Now if we take a point Q outside the circle and on the tangent, OQ is not a radius because it extends outside the circle as you can see. Hence, OQ is greater than OP. So if we consider any point on tangent XY other than point P, it will be always greater than OP. This proves that OP is the shortest distance and OP is perpendicular to the tangent XY. From this theorem, we can also conclude that at one point on a circle, only one tangent can be drawn. If we see, there can be infinite lines that can be drawn passing through that point but only line XY is the tangent. So friends, let's do an activity here. How many parallel tangents can you draw in a circle? Again, the answer is infinite. But when we draw a diameter AB in the circle, then how many tangents will be parallel to AB? We can draw infinite parallel lines to the diameter, but there will be only two lines which will not only be parallel to the given diameter but will also touch the circle at only one point that is to this diameter we can draw only two parallel tangents. This is one property of a tangent. Let's move to another property of the tangent. Now let us see as we know that only one tangent can pass through one point on the circle but then how many tangents will pass from a point in the circle and a point outside the circle? 
in the first case that is point inside the circle when we try to draw a tangent we can see it is not possible and all the lines which we try to draw touches the circle at two different points and they can be called as secant to the circle in our second case where the point is outside the circle we can draw only two tangents from the external common point now let us prove that if two tangents are drawn from an external point outside the circle they are equal as we saw that the park has only one entrance and because of which there was a law of inconvenience for the visitors so the owner decided to make another entrance to the park the park is situated in a huge complex and the owner wanted that both the entrance gate should be equidistant from the main entrance of the complex now as we know that the park is circular and the gates are on the boundary of it these two paths will behave like tangents to the park from a common external point where the external point is the main entrance now let's use concepts of geometry to prove that length of pd is equal to length of pq so what do you think how can we prove that these two tangents are congruent to prove this let's do a small construction we draw a line from point p to the center of the circle that is point o and we join ot and oq also now we can see that we have two triangles where the tangents are the two sides of these triangles let's use the concept of congruency of triangles and prove that the sides are also congruent let's proceed further now if we have a look at these two triangles that is triangle pqo and triangle pto in these triangles oq is equals to ot because they are the radius of the same circle op is equal to op because it's just a common side in both the triangles and angle pqo is equals to angle pto which is equals to 90 degrees angle between the radius and tangent is 90 degree as we have just studied in our previous theorem thus from these three points we can prove that triangle pqo is congruent to triangle pto now since both the triangles are congruent we can say that pt is equals to pq that is the length of pt is equal to length of pq This proves that two tangents drawn from an external point their lengths will be equal. The above statement can also be proved using Pythagoras theorem. So friends, let us summarize that what we have studied in this session of tangents. Tangents touches only one point on a circle. Only two tangents can be parallel. to a secant or a chord radius of the circle is perpendicular to the tangent of the circle length of the tangent drawn from external common point to the point of contact are equal that's all for the session in our next session we we'll learn about the areas related to a circle if you found this video helpful hit the like button and leave your valuable comments below and do subscribe Till then stay tuned to let's tune keep watching keep learning thank you